Hi, in this video we're going to look at adding an ostinato to the bass line and a simple melody to the flute part here. So first um, we have a C major chord here, C, E and G. And in our next bar we have an A minor chord, A, C and E. And what we're going to do is take the root of these notes, the C and the A, and we're going to use that to create our bass line. So, next thing, um, we're going to add in a bass line, an ostinato, just a repeated rhythmic phrase over and over. So, the simple ostinato that I'm going to use is a dotted crotchet. So, if I click on N for note, crotchet, and a dot, I'm going to go down and add that in here to the C. And then I'm going to take a quaver, and then a minimum. And there we have a basic uh, ostinato there. I'm going to click Escape on my keyboard now, just to get rid of the note input. Now, if I'm quite happy with that, very often you'll see piano players playing in octaves, you know, playing a C higher and then a C lower that's simultaneously. Um, so, what the reason the way, the way I want to do that now is very simply to input an octave higher. I click Alt A L T an 8 and that will add in the part uh, an octave higher so it copies it an octave higher okay so I'm quite happy with that first bar and we just listen to that there and so on okay so taking the same kind of idea we're in chord C here going to A so we're moving down three note names so all we'd have to do is click on here, repeat into the next bar, and bring it down to an A. And as we know from the last video, the first two bars are repeated in the third and fourth bar. So what we have in the first two bars here, pressing Shift, we can copy by pressing R for repeat, into the second set of two bars. So there we have a very simple ostinato with our chord. Now, we noticed uh, in the last video that we talked about a common denominator between the chord of C major and A minor, and that was in the note use of C and E. So C and E were used in the first chord. C and E were used in the second chord. And of course it was back again here and here. So the notes C and E are constant throughout that, even though the chords change the C and E. So that's going to help me to start writing a melody because listening to the Kareen Bailey Ray song, Like a Star, uh, I notice there's lots of repetition just around one or two notes. We're going to copy that and we're going to try and see if we can create something along the same lines. So... I know if I create a melody in this bar here, in the flute part here, that is based around the notes C and E, I know that I can make something that's going to fit in pretty well with the first four bars of my music. So, what I'm going to do first of all, really, really simple, is I'm going to take some crotchets and I'm going to create the notes C, just a one beat note, crotchet. Oops. So a C, an E, and a C, and an E. Now, very, very simple melodic line. Might not sound like much just now, so take it from the beginning. And so on. Okay. So, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to copy this first bar into the second bar by pressing R for repeat. And let's just see how that C and E fits with both chords. Okay, so that works. So, um, a couple of other little bits and pieces now just to, um, to really bring us on. Is that we're going to try and add some passing notes. Now, a passing note is just a note that passes between two notes. 
it doesn't have to be a, a main chord note. So we've used C and E here. So the C and E here, we've used the C and E here. We've kind of copied that, even though it's an octave higher. Uh, we've used the C and E here, and it fits in. Similarly, the C and E here has fitted in with that. And that's why that's really worked uh, as a piece of music. Okay. Going back to these first two notes, the C and E, we're going to make some passing, we're going to make a passing note in between there. We're going to put a D in between C and the E. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to half the value of the first note so that I can fit in a quaver D in between here. So all I do is go up, to, click here, and go up to my quaver. And I've created an opportunity here to put in a passing note here. So that C will then pass through to D. So if I click on the quaver rest and simply type D on my keyboard, it will allow me to uh, put in a passing note. Okay, similarly, if I want to put a passing note from the E back down to the C, all I would do is the same thing, click on the E, turn it into a quaver, half its value, which gives me an extra half beat here. Click on the quaver rest and type in D. So, that could be the beginning of my phrase. So already I'm starting to get a melodic line. It's moving by step and it's uh, got a very simple passing note between the chord notes of C and E, which I've taken from my simple chord um, here, chord one, C major. So let's listen to that and see what it will sound like in context. Okay, I seem quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm, I'm, I'm copying the repetition of the song that I've heard already, I'm going to take the first bar and pressing shift, the second bar, and I'm going to press R for repeat. And that's going to give me the first four bars of my composition. Now, this doesn't have to be uh, the melody for your song. If you're writing a song, it could just be uh, a little introduction on a flute and piano before uh, a vocalist comes in, for example. Or it could be a piece for flute and piano. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. So let's listen to this in context. It's a repetition of bar 1 and 2 into bar 3 and 4. Here we go. Okay, so there we have, we've started our first um, composition, first four bars, we've got a good introduction, we've put an ostinato in the bass line here, we've repeated it, and we've followed the chord progression from C major to A minor, we've taken out two of the notes from C major, C and D, and we've used that in the melody line up here, and you can see the C's and the E's are quite prominent throughout the piece. And the notes in the melodic line, which are in black now, are the notes which are called passing notes. They pass, and they don't always, they never really come on the beat, they're always off the beat. So the first beat, the second beat, the third beat, the fourth beat. The notes, the passing notes are just here. Okay, I hope this was of, of some help to you. Um, go stage two of uh, composing uh, using a stimulus. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.